Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thanks for stopping by and joining me while we are in the final preparations for the barn. So excited. I've been moving some stuff you can see behind me there on the trailer. I got that out of the way, but let's go check out what they're doing out at the barn site. So you can see we already have uh, some progress made right here. We're going to be having big semi trucks come straight through here to haul in um, anywhere between 10 to 20 loads of gravel. We'll just see how much it needs. So I've been using the tractor this morning to take care of that, but I'll come out here and show you. <clears throat> the barn site is ready. So we have all the corners marked. You can see right over here, um, they scraped, our contractor scraped the ground. He didn't really like the soft hay and different things like that. So he scraped the ground before they start putting gravel down. So that's where we're at right now. But there's one more thing that's a little bit too close to the barn. Uh, they said it would be all right there, but it needs to move anyway at some point. So I thought it would be better to move it now before they start building than it would be later to stay out of their way. So our corral system is out here and it is portable. So luckily I don't have to take it up out of the ground. There's no concrete that's been um, set in for the posts or anything because it's portable. So I'm going to pick it up today piece by piece. I'm taking it apart this morning. I've been working on it and I'll kind of show you guys how, how it all fits together. So you can see we have a full sweep. We have working pins. We have moving gates and they're all held together with these dog ears and bolts and nuts. So right up here, I've already taken off several of these. I've taken off almost everything on each side. So I'm gonna start coming through here and lifting these up. They weigh probably 125 to 150 pounds uh, each, just depending on the panel and how long it is. And then the um, tub is 16 foot long. And I have no idea how much it weighs, but probably over a thousand pounds. It's super heavy. And I'm thankful for that because there's been many times, like I said, that um, livestock have been rough on it and it just doesn't move. Right back here is the back corner of the shed and then the barn kind of all in one but this side over here on the um, south side will be shed. But let's go ahead and get this moved out of the way that way they can get um, the barn going and hopefully I'll get it moved before they show up to start working. So I got all of these apart and they are now ready to be moved by the tractor. So the tractor will make work so much easier, but you can see that it easily comes apart and you're able to move it around. And every one of the hinges on it has a greaser for you to grease it. That's if you grease it. I know a lot of you have gotten onto me multiple times because my gates are creaky and sometimes I don't grease them. But anyway, it's good quality pin, but anybody that wants to get cattle or thinks they want to get cattle, the very first thing you need is a good pin. And if you just bought a new farm, you're probably not going to have the perfect place picked out for your pin. So I recommend buying something like this that's movable, portable. You can move it. You're not um, ripping concrete out of the ground just to, to move a pin. So I'm going to get these moved and won't be much longer. We'll be ready for... Uh, for the barn. So I think the only other thing I'm going to try to get today is the sweep. Uh, I'm going to try to get it out of the way and then I'm going to leave the rest of the panels here because um, right now it's kind of part of our calf pen and really they're not going to serve any purpose because they're um, just going to be on the ground waiting for me to put them back up. So we might as well use them while we're waiting.
So that might look like a violent way to move it, but guess what? That's the way to move it. You put it up on its uh, top like that, and that way you have something to chain. Uh, chain this pipes up the top too. And after I have my, um, my skids underneath it, I have my chains on it, I can just lift it right up. So I got the cattle pen all moved, everything settled away there. I was just about ready to start moving this pile of compost, is what I'm gonna call it, manure, hay, dirt. I'm gonna put it in a pile, probably back towards the back of the place and let it set and turn over several times. But just as I was doing that, I saw something catch my eye. Oh, look at that. You're not supposed to be out. What are you doing out? How did you get out? little chicken so I've got to stop and take a break to get Cassie's little Bantam chicken in I think it's oh man I am part chicken tender see I can tend them oh, I'm not gonna eat it although this one is the color of a golden crispy brown chicken tender from chick-fil-a no i won't put it up where did you get out of that that's my problem so i think i found the spot that got out right here i'll put you right back where you come from all right and now i gotta get something to put there all right that should stop it just a little bit of a problem with the fence no big deal so as you guys have seen in videos we have this old playhouse out here that has seen better days and the kids don't really play with anymore uh, mainly because they're always afraid of wasps wasp and things so we are going to relocate it out here and use it for something for the animals so Gary's over getting the tractor ready um, I'm gonna move some of this junk and get it ready and follow us along to see what we decide to do Porch is pretty rotten. What's that? Porch is pretty rotten. Yeah, we may have to do a little rebuild or removal of the porch. Either way, I think we'll be fine. So now you're gonna secure it? Uh, gonna try to get it to where it won't, can't tip over or fall off. The best part though, it will no longer be an eyesore. Mm-hmm. Watch out for wasps. I'd like to order some ice cream. Ice cream? We have two flavors, chalkboard, and sawdust. Oh yeah. Which one do you want? I don't want it too tight. Get it too tight, but I don't want it falling over either. So, you ready? Ready. Gonna be a what? Big turkey house? Yeah. Turkey mansion? Sure. Okay. All right, so Gary's coming around the house. I opened up the Premier One fencing here for him to come through. Then we'll just put that back together. So we'll go through here, go through the gate, put it up there under the trees. It'll be one step for them to have a place to lay their eggs instead of having to go Easter egg hunting every time I want turkey and duck eggs. Well, Kind of leaning. The house mayor may not get here in one piece, but the thing is, if it falls apart, it's okay because we're just trying to use it until it's no longer usable. But I can hear it 
breaking. <laughs> that probably just the porch though, hopefully. Oh. I videoed pretty much that whole process because I really didn't think it was gonna make it. Really? Yeah, I just knew she'd be a goner. Nah, this is this. I had this. <laughs> so you should have heard it. Uh, creaky, creaky, creaky. I actually think I'm gonna come up about another foot, and it's a good level spot right here. So we got. I mean, check out that porch, y'all. Yeah. Hey, I've got some good boards in there, and I'm gonna put them on in just a little bit so when Cassie leaves and goes to school you guys will see this with a finished out porch on it but and I want to clean this brush up too I told them though that this is like literally on its last leg so if it doesn't work it doesn't work oh. but we're trying to use it until it's not usable it was exactly zero dollars that's how much <laughs> it cost and the very first time we got it it was zero dollars too and the kids have used it they've enjoyed it and now it's time for um, Cassie to repurpose it. There we go. So if you look inside, Ranger and the neighbor girl during 2020 when we had nowhere to go, they started painting it, but that's as far as they got. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is if we make some, uh, something right here, these the windows on the sides could actually be doors for the turkeys and maybe the goats wouldn't get in. Yeah. If we just shut the door, the big door up front, mm -hmm. and we only use it to go in and get eggs, maybe we, we can build out uh, something here for the turkeys to roost on and yeah. then walk in and nest. Yeah. I don't know. Can Whatever we train we them to do that? What? Can we train them to do that? Uh, I, they're nosy as they can be, so I don't know why not. Okay, look. Right here. Yeah. White. That's my duck. Leave oh. her alone. So I can't burn this pile? <laughs> not for at least 28 days or All so. Right. Well, the good news is, is there's nothing really in our way too big as the little limbs, so I think we can leave her alone for a little bit. Um, but typically... They'll lay eggs and then they'll lay on them for like 30 minutes and get up. She's been there even with us close. So I'm pretty sure she's broody. Um, if she gets up and doesn't pay any attention to them, then Gary can do as he pleases. But as long as she stays there, that means she's really trying. Well, let her and try. If, if any bird wants to hatch eggs for me, they can. Because that means I don't have to take care of them. That's your priority, huh? Hang on. Right. Hang on, there's a goat in there. So we're going to let the goats check that out, but Cassie says she has a broody turkey as well. Let's see where it's at. So this morning, Leanne and the other runner ducks were fighting over here over eggs. And they were all duck eggs, but she acted like they were hers. So they left. They just fought for a little bit and left. So they're not interested in being broody. I went and looked and they were real gross, old. I threw them over. Most of them busted because they were rotten. But then I saw this girl. Oh, look at that. She's got natural protection from uh, predators. And she's hissing at Cassie she's because- She's got half a dozen or so. Well, that's what turkeys do. And uh, I will probably put some chicken eggs under her soon. <laughs> so you can officially see the uh, house is now full of goats. So that's what it's gotta be, goat for. Well, I think once we shut that, it's going to be goat-proof. You're just learning about this uh, root, this 
Is this vine. a vine or is it a wheel? Maker? Nope, that is a vine. So we cut it out at the base. So it, it grew right out of the ground. It's a big old vine. It's a huge vine. It's like Georgia the Jungle type stuff. It's like Tarzan times three. But that's what that is, a giant vine. It's crazy how they grow. Mm -hmm. When things are just left, this was lease land for 60 years, so people didn't really care about it. And it was just kind of left alone. That's the kind of stuff that happens. Oh, you got the pretty spot. Oh man, mama. Yeah, Cassie's trying to... Oh. <laughs> I just want to hold you. This is why I like the sheep better. <laughs> you're, a, you're a girl and you're pretty. Let me hold. You don't get your, it's all fun and games till you get horns in the face. Right, Zena? Okay, go on. Mom! Mom! She got me! <laughs> huh, made them all get out, didn't it? Now everybody's yelling mama. Now they're telling each other. You see that crazy lady over there? She picked me up. She picked me up and then she showed me on the camera. All right. Well, we have, we've got it um, here. Today we're not going to outfit it with the uh, any kind of turkey stuff yet, but we are going to replace the bad wood on the porch because the kids will come out here, Ranger and Ransom, they'll want to play around yep. and check it out. They're probably playing it more now then. So Cassie helped me get that uh, new turkey house moved. I'm going to get it fixed up, at least the steps in a minute. But first thing, I've got to share something with you guys out here in the garden. We have a little bit of an unsolved mystery. So look at this row of peppers. It starts out nice and full down on that end. And as you come down to this end, there's something missing. No pepper, no pepper, peppers all the way through. So what could be happening to my peppers? There's two missing. Everything else is looking good. But two missing. So I don't want to be accusing an innocent animal of something they did if they didn't really do it. But I have my suspicions on who has been taking my peppers. Let me see if I can find her and I'll show you. I'll show you who I think is taking my peppers. Ah, I found her. Shelby, you're not taking my peppers, are you? Hmm? Let's check these paws. They got mud on them. Uh, a little bit of mud. All right, so I've been keeping Shelby out of my garden, but I gotta sleep at some point. I can't watch her 24 seven. Hey. Please don't take my peppers, okay? Jojo, Cassie says it was probably you or Mr. Jingles. But I'm, th I'm thinking it was Miss Shelby. But I'll keep an eye on her. Hopefully she'll stay out. So luckily, I still have a couple of the peppers left. Um, I bought a six pack and I only used four of each. So I'm gonna replant these peppers, but I'm gonna have to really keep an eye out here in the garden um, on these young tender plants. Usually once they get a little bigger, I don't have to worry about them. But right now I got to keep a close eye on any cats or dogs coming after my vegetables. Also, we're supposed to get rain. So in the next uh, 24 hours, we're supposed to get some rain. So this is actually a really good time to go ahead and get these in the ground. Uh, and maybe they'll take off and start growing without any issues. As long as they don't get dug up again. Yeah. Rain decided to start falling. Just as soon as I got my three boards cut, so I got the three boards cut to fit the steps and uh, started raining on me. But I think if I can make it back there without getting my camera wet, I'll be okay because we're under those trees. So let's go give it a try. I want to get this fixed. Um, that way the goats or the kids, um, the goat kids or my kids don't fall in the hole. So well, I know you guys are enjoying the rain because that comes with cooler temperatures. And uh, they're not getting sheared until next Tuesday, so it won't be long. Hang on, guys. It's not time to eat yet. It's not time to eat. I'm trying to get you guys fixed up. She, get, she got up because I think she thinks it's feeding time. It's still an hour before feeding time, guys. I don't know why they're getting all uh, worked up about it. Hang on, Zena. Back, 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 back. I don't need your, I don't need your attention here. I gotta take these screws out. Hopefully the square bit works. I don't know if there's different sizes of square bits or not, but this is a square bit. Oh, 
Those are nice screws. I might recycle them. All right, so I'm going to get all these tore up, um, all the old screws out, and get all the old boards off, and then we'll be ready to put the new ones on. So they're all being a mess, and you can see the little duck is just hanging in there. And it is raining, but we're not getting an ounce of rain on us yet. So I got all the old boards off and a little bit of rotting going on, but right now I think it's still going to hold screws. We'll be all right. So I'm going to go ahead and get the new ones on with my number one helper here, Miss Zena. So I finished up the turkey shed and the steps on the front. Sometimes I'm really happy that I'm recording and sometimes I'm really happy that I'm not recording. So I was just recording and it was pretty much a circus. Uh, I was sitting here putting screws in and I had a kid run in here and start screaming. It got behind the door and acting like it was dying. It, and all the goats started coming around because they were worried about it. Well, I went in, I went to walk in and I had my hat on, busted my head on that, almost fell down. But don't worry, Zena was licking me and trying to jump on me the whole time. So she was making everything better. And then the goat, as I sat down right here to catch my brains or whatever it was that was running loose in my head, the goat jumped out and came over me and almost scared me to death. So sometimes, Zena, it's best the camera is not going or I would have been quite quite embarrassed. But it would have been fun to watch. I wish I could show you guys. Zena don't care. But you guys see the, uh, the boards here are all better. So we can step up on here. No problems. So the goat kids, the kid kids, anybody that wants to come in here. <sighs> Zena, I don't think it's big enough for both of us. But... Anybody can come in here that needs to get in. I can't really move around much in here. It, this is really just made to be a kid's playhouse. But Cassie's going to build out some um, turkey nest in here. Try to get the turkey sitting in here. Not sure how she'll do it, but it's ready for him whenever she is. Well, I made it halfway to the shop and I got caught. But I got caught with good company. The goats are staying out of the rain. Zena, she's following me wherever I go. So, the sun's shining, the rain's falling. You know what they say, Lulu? Whenever the rain is falling on a sunny day, it's gonna rain tomorrow. So, there's a pretty good chance of rain tomorrow. So I'd say that's pretty accurate. But I'm gonna have to make a run for it to get back to the shop or the house. So before we go to church and end the video, Cassie has a surprise. I hashed out bowling pins. Bowling pins? So are. these are Indian runner ducks, and they are just wee little ones. And hopefully, let's see, hopefully the rest hatch. How many more do you have, Cassie? Uh, there's ten total. Ten total. But when they walk, your hand's in the way. When they walk around, show them down there. I'll show them. They look like bowling pins on legs. So ducks are awfully messy the bigger they get, but luckily these won't be getting much bigger at our house because where are they going? To our neighbor. She gave me my start or ransom, his start of Indian runner ducks. She had 10 or 11. Some kind of predator got them all, so I'm getting her some more. Actually all but one because we have one of ours here because it was lonely. Yeah, there was only one left when the predators came and left and thankfully uh, she's gonna get some more because she has the crazy chicken lady as a neighbor. <laughs> so thanks for taking some time out of your day to come by and catch up with the walkers. You're all caught up. We moved a house today. We did. And we hashed out some ducks. Yep. And I even replanted some pepper plants from a mystery that's unsolved. You found them? No, I got new pepper oh. plants to put in the hole where the other ones are. Do you have any idea where I'm those I'm blaming on Mr. Jingles. Oh. The Cats ca like to dig in dirt. The cat, Mr. Jingles. So you don't think it was Shelby? Negative. Never seen her in there. Hmm. She had a little dirt on her paws. Have you seen your backyard? Yeah, it's got some dirt in it. Yeah. So, who knows? Mystery will be unsolved for now. But we do want to thank you for taking time out of your day to follow along. We hope you have a great day, and God bless. Love you guys.